Hello, John Britt here. Today we're going to make closed cylinders. I'm going to show you some different forms of product you can make from that. One is going to be like a birdhouse, and one's a salt uh, pig, and one's a luminary, and then a lidded jar, but they all come from the same form. So let me show you how to make that first. It's, I like this, this form because it's so, so versatile and it's fun to make. Alright, so we'll center this a little. I did about two pounds of, or a pound and a half or two pounds of clay, but you, you know, you don't need that much. I'm just doing a little extra so it's a little taller so you can see it. I'm going to open as normal. Sometimes, you know, put, put a rib in there, flatten the bottom pretty good. Then we'll do our pull. Now what you want to do is keep this sort of angling in, how, how it's going in. That'll make it easier to close off for you. Okay. So, then depending on what you want, you know, if you want your sides to be squared up, or, um, That all depends on the shape you're going to make there uh, on the outside bottom. But now we're going to just come in like this. Sometimes what I'll do on the top here is just cut off part of that. And that helps it to, just seems to help it to come in. It allows it to move like that a little. So now we're just going to do our pull. See how I can do my pull inward a little? And you see, all the while I'm making this is a bottle shape, you know, vase shape. You got all these different shapes that you go through to get this. Makes it kind of fun. Okay, so then you're going to close this off. One way, uh, you can either use your finger in there like this, and then fingers out here. See all those shapes I'm going through? You can stop there if you want to handle, or you can keep going. See, now it's closed off. Now if I want, I can also use, I can use this rib to help close it off. So if I wanted, you know, I just come in there and let it pinch off like, I could do that, see there? Or I could leave that to be a handle. Whatever you want, you know, if I wanted to, I could take um, this rib and then now I can come in and mess around with it because it's got air inside and it's being held. Uh, it's like having an inside hand. So I can come in, do all kinds of smoothing or not. You know, you can make, leave it however you want. Okay, so you've got that. Now we'll come over here and I'll, I'll show you. Now one thing you do when, when you're doing that is you let it, you let it dry a little, but you probably got to poke a hole in it because the, uh, as the clay contracts, it'll make the pressure in there and try to crack it. So you pump a little hole with a needle tool. And then what I'll do to make a salt pig is I'll just come in here and cut this. And then that's a salt pig. Salt pig holds salt. You put it on the stove and it's a great way to dispense like sea salt. Then this one I cut two on each side and that becomes a luminary you can put like a candle in there and then what I'll do sometimes you know is come in here and cut some uh, like tri like I might come in here and cut like a triangular design whatever you're gonna want you know the light the light will shine in various ways through there whatever holes you cut so you can make all kinds of patterns and stuff uh, and then then this is a like a birdhouse now if you want you can check what you can go online just search for birdhouse openings dimensions on Google and uh, that way you can see get the dimensions that the house should be like a wren might be one and a quarter to one and a half inch opening and I took this plumbing pipe and I'll just hold, hold it here and make a mark where, where the opening is and then I'll just cut the opening like this you gotta be now, uh, with birdhouses, if you're really serious about them, you can get pretty in-depth with them. But you're going to want some opening in the bottom so that uh, wa if water gets in there, it'll run out. And maybe put a stick there or something. 
Okay, and then the last thing uh, of this uh, that I can think of right now, this form is a, a lidded jar. And what you can do is either with a needle tool or with this uh, fettling knife, come in and just cut this in a zigzaggy shape of some kind. And then that then becomes a lidded jar. And when, uh, when you are done, what you do is you take a little piece of clay and make a little, like a little nipple there on the top and bottom so that they'll know, okay, here's where that goes because sometimes it's hard to figure out where it ends up. Okay, so that's all we got and I'll be back tomorrow, make me about 50 of those. All right.